Okay. So now we are going to begin section three, expectations of NSAs. What is enough experience to start marketing direct about errors and emissions insurance? And we'll run through some action items. Okay, it's, it's important to be credentialed before seeking work because I mentioned earlier that the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau came through and created a mandate that everyone had to be in compliance. I'm just going to look now. If y'all can see a, the slide with the compliance on there, no, that's, that's what I was afraid of. So can you see it yet? Okay, great. Okay. So as I was saying that the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau came in, said we demand some changes in better behavior. ALTA, the American Land Title Association, stepped up and helped make rules for, the, for NSAs. And as I mentioned, that's the NNA certification, an annual background check, notary commission, E&O insurance, and bond. Are there, that's what we call our credentials now. And that's what the industry thinks of them as. So when you start marketing or looking to become hired by hiring parties, they buy policy or almost by, well, by mandates by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, every notary needs to provide this information and proof that they've done all these things to the hiring party or the hiring party shouldn't actually hire them. They also need to acknowledge Alta's best practices, which come through the Signing Professionals Work Group a website that is maintained by the NNA. But there are members in the signing professionals work group that are lenders and title companies as well as signing services. And the, the NNA has been around since the 1950s. And that's why you'll see that people want that NNA certification. Their material is good. It's solid and sound. But I always say, you know, You've got it. You should take their training if you can, but for some reason, it doesn't really translate into the nuts and bolts like maybe other courses do. It's it's a good course, and it teaches you the rules of how to behave, how to that they've all agreed under Alta to do things. But anyway, it's just kind of a thing that you you go through that, and then you get the hands-on experience of people through other courses that have actually performed and done your signing agent work. So anyway, if once you get that NNA certification, then you can continue your education. And some of you have done that by taking this training today. You'll have to pass the NNA's test. You don't have to take their course, but it's good information. But let me give you a little tip here. All of that information is basically in these y'all do have these for sure in your handout. You'll go to the signing professional work group, download the code of conduct, go down and go and download the signing professional signing guidelines. You, but what you want to do is be knowledgeable before you get started and crawl before you walk and walk before you run. Learn while working for signing services. Start out right and be honest about your experience and everything. And just your full knowledge doesn't come around until you're able to actually put your hands on it and practice it. And uh, there's a lot of things said negatively about signing services, uh, working for them. I frankly love to work for signing services. It takes some pressure off of me. No, I do not make maybe, you know, a little bit more money, but... The main thing is you fill your pipeline and signing services are so much more willing to help you learn and go forward than uh, title companies. Now, I'm going to leave it at that because we're into Jake's 
part now. I'm going to stop sharing and we'll get Jake back on.